thankfulness as a weapon. He gives us thankfulness to change our perspective. He gives us thankfulness to change the atmosphere. And he gives us thankfulness as a weapon to battle against the enemy. And then it's also a way to connect with him in a, and it strengthens our walk with him. So we, we sometimes, especially I think living in today's generation and this that generation that we live in where things are immediate and it's fast and it's, you know, I got to have it now, that immediate gratification. And then especially being in America, uh, for those that live in America, we, we are a little more entitled. Our generation in this day and age seems a little more entitled and we're just so used to the comforts of life. We're so used to fast food, have it now, text message. If I want information, I can get it, you know. Whereas in other places of the world, they don't have that instant access or that, you know, and as an American, and I have the freedom to read my Bible. I have the freedom to have access to it, and it's okay if it gets dusty on the shelf or whether I use it or not. But in another country, people are risking their lives. They're dying for, you know, Bibles and stuff. So just the one thing that really the Lord uh just put on my heart is so like for every time that we feel like you know we're having a bad day or uh, we're going through a rough patch for a situation and it's okay to be down but the Bible says to not worry about anything but to pray about everything with thanks with supplication and thanksgiving to the Lord so not only does it say not to worry and to pray but to lift up thanksgiving to God that's a big part of it that sometimes we overlook in that scripture where in this situation that we're going through, we thank God that we have the opportunity to come and lay this at his feet. That we thank God that the battle is his. And we thank God that he will hear our prayers and he will battle on us on our behalf in the situation, even though sometimes we don't see it. So in that, in that moment that's stressful and hard, if we thank God, Lord, I, I thank you that in this difficult time that I'm not going through this alone. God, I thank you, Father God, because... I can call on you, Lord, and I know that you are a good father, that you will not leave me without provision. I, and thank him for every other good thing. So for that one bad situation, give four other. think of four other things that you can thank God for. And by doing that, that step of just giving that thankfulness, it's going to change your perspective because you're going to start to, it's going to start to show you things that you could be thankful in that difficult situation, like when my vehicle was stolen. I did not like that one bit, but I thank God that I knew if I prayed to him that he was going to work whatever this difficult situation, I knew he was going to work it out for good. So I thank him that he had his word to give me that assurance that he works all things out for the good of those who love him. I thank him that I was able to have the faith in him or that he gave me the faith to trust in him or even a way to, to pray about it. I thank him that I had people to pray for me and intercede for the situation. So... By being thankful, it changes our perspective, and it can also change our atmosphere. And as an, at the same time, while that all is happening, it's actually taking back and defeating the enemy because just like, like when the enemy attacked Job, he was giving praise to the Lord still. And that's how, we beat, that's how we beat the enemy, that no matter what we're going through, that we have faith and we have to be thankful in good situations and in bad situations, we have to be able to thank God. Sometimes we might not just think him, oh, well, thank you, God, that I got beat up. It's not like that. It's like, you know what, thank you, Lord, that I didn't get killed. Thank you, God, that I was able to make it to a hospital. Or, you know what, thank you, Lord, that even though my car is stolen, I still have a house. Or thank you, God, that even though my car is stolen, I still have lakes to get to where I need to go, or I still have money to buy a new car, or whatever the situation is. There's always something to be thankful for. And, and to get in that thankful perspective, think about, somebody else who may not even have a car to be stolen. We might be upset because our vehicle got stolen, but maybe there's a lady walking with her three children back and forth with groceries, and they don't even have a vehicle to be stolen. That's a blessing. I'm privileged to say that my vehicle was stolen because somebody else might not have a vehicle to be stolen. So that's something to be thankful for. So thankfulness is such a powerful weapon that God gives us. It's a weapon for us to strengthen our walk with the Lord, to get closer and more intimate with him. It's a mighty weapon against the kingdom of darkness, and it's it's just a mighty weapon to help our perspective. And I just feel like a lot of times it's one of the most challenging, it seems like it's one of the most challenging things to do is to be thankful in difficult times. 
And that's exactly what the enemy would have us to believe, that we don't have anything to be thankful for. But like I try to tell my kids, be thankful you woke up today because somebody woke up today, but they didn't wake up to their mom, their dad, their sister, or their brother. Or they didn't wake up, you know, and have the comfort of a warm bed to sleep in. They, some people, you know, there's so much things. We woke up. You have arms to use, legs to use if you do, uh, that you still have that breath, that you have this breath. That We should thank God that his mercies are new every day. Every day, he has new mercies for us. His, his mercies endure forever. And so that those are so, there's just so many things to be thankful for. And if we start to dwell on the things above and we start to dwell on the things that we could be thankful for, um, then it would be so much better to battle in this walk that we have when we put our armor of God on, when we would have this walk with the Lord. It would be so much more easy for us to connect with him because we would be in a thankful mindset and be able to hear his voice more better because we're not in this perspective like, well, if God just cared, it would be like, you know, I, you have something to complain about. Because I do remember clearly one day like reading through Exodus and I remember like, how can they complain? How could they, you know, bicker and complain about all these things Well, after God did so much for them and it was because they didn't remember they didn't take the time to think back of anything that the Lord had done for them and to thank him for it and that's why their their battle and the, their walk in the wilderness lasted longer than it needs to that's why they struggled under the heat so long that's why they, they allowed themselves to murmur and complain because they didn't take the time to reflect and remember what God did and to be thankful for it even if it was something in the past Think back of what God has already done for you, where he's brought you from, and thank him for that, because that's something to be thankful for. Thank him that you have a, a way to connect with God. I thank God that we have this backup connection. Like, all that other stuff may gone bad, but you know what? We're here right now, and I thank God for that. And if we get in a more thankful perspective, we're gonna, our ears are going to be more easily tuned to him because we're going to be more easily ready to receive him. I think God wants us to be more thankful, not only just because for us to have a guilt trip, like we're not thankful, but he wants us to be equipped and he wants us to be ready. He wants us to be empowered and he wants us to not be, you know, just escaping by through life. He wants us to enjoy the pleasures of life, but we have to really, really take more effort and look, thanking God throughout the day for a lot of the little things that we take for granted. I take for granted my hearing. I take for granted like, I have a deaf friend, and she has a hearing son, and as a deaf mother, I couldn't imagine, like, what her day may be like to not be able to talk with the teachers and understand what her child is going through. Like, so I take for granted my hearing. Like, wow, how much difficult that must be. Or when my son is hurting, like, I can hear. He can easily tell me what's going on in him because I have hearing. So be thankful for your hearing. Be thankful for your sight. Be thankful for your, your limbs, your arms. You know, be thankful that... You know, for just the littlest things, just try to find for every one thing that you have that is burdening your life or that you want to complain about or whatever it is, for that one thing, try to think of three other things that you could thank God for and praise God for because God inhabits the praise of his people. And when you praise the Lord and you thank him, the Bible says to enter his gates with thanksgiving and to praise him. So we should, when we come to God, we should be coming ready to thank him. Thank him that we could even come to him. Back in the day, they no, they, we, they couldn't even come to Jesus or pray unless they went to and slaughtered animals. We don't even have to do that. We, just, we can bow our knees, close our eyes. We can keep our eyes open and just say, you know what, God, I need your help. We have the power of the name of Jesus. Like That's a lot to be thankful for. We have the armor of God. That's something to be thankful for. So... God just wants us to be thankful because he wants to enjoy he wants to enjoy us, he wants us to enjoy him and he wants us to be empowered. And thanksgiving is a weapon that that can definitely do that. So just for us to be more thankful because it's a really mighty weapon and it's a good way to overcome some of the difficulties we may be going through. Excellent message.